Once a raider, bruh, always a raider, bruh Shit, simple as that, you look silver and black Lot of bread invested in that old line Car insurance cost the arm and the leg, you reach that go line What is going on, Raider Nation? What is going on? It is your boy, Darian, coming to you live with another video It is the Spotlight Raiders Talk Shout out to all the subscribers that have subscribed to the YouTube page. If this is your first time ever being at our YouTube page, I would suggest that you subscribe and hit the bell button and get the latest news and all Raiders news. But we're back here with another Raiders video. And in this video, we're going to be talking about why the Las Vegas Raiders should extend wide receiver Nelson Aguilar to a longer contract. Now, I have to say, this guy has been balling out for us, and he definitely revived his career, leaving the Philadelphia Eagles to come sign a one-year deal under $1 million, I think about eight hundred k not even a $1 million guaranteed contract, and he has proven himself this year on why the Las Vegas Raiders should extend him. Now, I have to say, shout out to JustBlogBaby.com for this source, and they tell us why the Raiders should extend Nelson Aguilar because he has come the top the to top offensive target and you know going into 2020 he's going to be one of those guys that a lot of teams that's going to look for for next season so if i am the las vegas raiders right now try to extend him as much as possible so let's definitely get into what just blah baby had to say about it and what are my thoughts on extending nelson aguilar nelson aguilar has been great for the las vegas raiders this season and they make one year deal a multi-year one as soon as possible definitely got to make that happen the las vegas raiders held to the number 12 pick in the 2020 nfl draft with their big name wide receiver perspective available they decided to roll the dice with the speedster henry Ruggs the third while the rookie has some big moments in year one he has seen the season you know rage by injury and COVID 19 so he has not been as productive as many expected coming in. Ruzz was supposed to lead the position in that group and that was the real issue last season. While he has made strides in year one, it has been another deep threat that has emerged to the top wide out on this roster. That player was a whole hum free agent signing back in March and was emerged as one of the offense putting his past issues behind him. Now he was the top offensive free agent pickup in 2020. And Nelson Aguilar was a first round pick for the Philadelphia Eagles back in 2015 while he had some bright moments including the team's win in the Super Bowl where he helped the Birds in receiving and he was eventually cast away due to his issues of having drops. In fact, many in Raider Nation hated the signing of him in March but has become the best offensive free agent signing since you know the team made it in March. Nelson Aguilar had one catch in his Raiders debut for a 23-yard touchdown against the Carolina Panthers, who will have one catch following week as well. He has made his first start for the Silver and Black in week four, insisting he has been targeted as many as 11 times in a single game, providing a top option for Derek Carr in the passing attack. Aguilar has become the wide receiver one in Las Vegas and should continue to be. When it comes to time for 2021's offseason, the Raiders need to make Aguilar a priority and should make extending him one of the first things they need to do. Not only did he prove on his drop issues was behind him, but he showed that he could be a kind of playmaker down the field and that this team has been lacking. With Rugg struggling a bit as a rookie, it is not easy to assume that he's just going to come to camp and be wide receiver one next season. So bringing in Aguilar back was will be a top priority. With Aguilar and Ruggs on the outside and Hunter Renfro in the slot, the Raiders have a solid top three at wide receiver to go along with the elite option tight end in Darian Waller. The Raiders defense is atrocious and must address this offseason. So bring back Aguilar to this offense to check off one of the few boxes they need to do allows Mayock and Gruden to focus on the other side of the ball. Aguilar will only be 28 years old when the 2020 NFL season begins, so there's plenty of good football left in him. Sure, he had a couple drops this season, but he became the most reliable receiver for Derek Carr and Marcus Mariota and needs to be a part of the plan moving forward in Las Vegas. 
how can I not agree more with this article here? How can I agree more with this source? I feel like, yes, we need to extend. We need to extend Nelson Aguilar. This guy has came on the scene and proved that he just wasn't a bust from the Philadelphia Eagles, you know, coming to them back in 2015. This guy is only 28, his, 28 years old, and he has a lot left in him. Now, with Nelson Aguilar, yes, he did have some bad drops this year. Yes, he did have some drops here and there, but I feel like the extension is needed. I do not want to see him in no other color uniform but the silver and black. And I think the Raider Nation and the whole nation that's actually watching this video can actually completely understand that. Now, now we know that. Tyrell Williams might be out the door next season. We all know Henry Ruggs had a you know a, a, a subpar year due to the fact of COVID-19 and injuries. And you know, he's not you, he, he's not really getting in the flow of things, but he's young, and at the end of the day, I still feel how I feel about Henry Ruggs. But that really don't have nothing to do with anything. So with Nelson Aguilar, this guy's been holding the team down when it comes to receiving. He definitely stepped up when it's needed. Yes, like I said. He has some bad games, but he's been targeted 11 times, and he's been a good threat for Derek Carr and Marcus Mariota, depending on who the quarterback is. So I really feel like sign this guy back, Red Nation. John Gruden and Mike Mayer, you have to sign this guy back. If you don't, then there's going to be some issues with the Raider Nation, and the Raider Nation might hate you for it. So make sure you have weapons for Derek Carr or Marcus Mariota, whatever quarterback that we go with. But we definitely have to keep Nelson Aguilar on this roster. So let me know in the comment section. Let me know in the comment section, what do y'all think, Raider Nation? Should we extend the contract for Nelson Aguilar? Let me know what you think. Comment, like, and subscribe to the channel. It is the Spotlight Raiders Talk, and I will see y'all in the next live stream or in the next video. Peace. Once a Raider, bruh. Always a Raider, bruh. Shit, simple as that. You look silver and black. A lot of red invested in that O-line. Hard insurance cost the arm and the leg. You reach that goal line. It's go time.